Hello, I'm Morgan Daniel and today we're going to be taking a look at the Canon EOS RP. The Canon EOS RP is a great intermediate level camera. I have the package, it came with the RF 24 to 105mm lens with the f4 to 7.1 stops, which is pretty good. I mean, this is f4, it looks pretty good. Now, if you just want the body, you come in at $1,000 for this camera, but if you want to get the package with the lens like I did, you come in at $1,300. Now, it does shoot 4K at 30 frames per second, but you get this 4K crop that looks pretty bad because you go from having a nice wide shot to it crops in like this much. Which is probably fine if you have a stationary setup like this, but if you're gonna be going around vlogging, well, good luck because that 4K crop is not gonna do you any good. But the 1080 that comes out of this camera looks pretty darn good, so odds are you won't even need the 4K. Now it does have a full frame CMOS sensor with the ISO range from 100 to 40,000, which is a pretty good range for a camera that comes in at about a thousand dollars. And that ISO 40,000 will let you shoot in a decently dark scenario. Now it's not gonna look as good as if you're shooting that ISO 100 because you get a lot of grain, but if you need it, it's there. Now, if you do want to shoot in slow motion, you're not going to be able to. You have to shoot in 1080 at 60 frames per second and slow it down in post because this camera does not have 120 frames per second. But once you do that, flick the stabilization switch on the lens on too, you'll get some pretty smooth footage. It looks pretty good. It has a flip out touchscreen LCD like most other Canon cameras that they sell. It also has a mini HDMI and a USB-C. Now I'd love to see a full-size HDMI in it, but the mini HDMI still works. You can also use this camera as a webcam or with an external monitor with those ports. If you run EOS Webcam Utility on your computer, plug in a USB-C cable, you'll get a pretty clean looking webcam that looks better than probably everybody else in your Zoom meeting or whatever you're doing. Then lastly, we have a cold shoe mount on the top with a battery and SD card slot in the bottom. It only accepts one SD card, but I'm sure that'll be plenty for what you're going to use this camera for. Now, would I recommend this camera? Yes, if you're an intermediate filmmaker, I feel like this is a great camera for the price. Now, if you're a beginner, you could probably go with something a little bit cheaper, but for the average person that's ready to take things seriously, this is a pretty good camera. You can get some pretty good looks like this that I've gotten, and it also takes some pretty good pictures. I will be doing a video on the whole photo side of this camera in the future, so yeah. If you want to see that, comment down below, and I will like heart your comment. I'll do something. I don't know. Anyways. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and making it all the way to the end. Bye. Hey, I just wanna let you guys know, you know the end of the video. Have you ever seen this guy on YouTube? He makes pretty cool videos, actually. I really love his videos. I've probably watched everyone like 15 times, you know? You should like go watch some of them and like them and comment down below and tell them I sent you because they're some pretty cool videos. Anyways, 